Hiya. When you learn to combine formulae together, you can get really cool stuff done in Excel. We're going to have a look today at combining VLOOKUP and MATCH together. And if we learn to do this, we can pull data out of really large data sets really quickly. So what are we talking about? Well, there's a couple of things we need to know. First, we need to understand the simple VLOOKUP formula. And if you haven't met that before, then take a look at our VLOOKUP formula video. And then we need to understand MATCH as well. So again, if you haven't seen MATCH before, we will go through it in this video, but you might want to take a look at our other video first. As usual, we've created a practice file. So make sure you download that and practice yourself. It's so important to practice to make sure that you learn the skill. In the practice file, you will find on this sheet uh, a completed version of what we're doing. So you can always make reference to that if you get stuck, it's all there for you. And then on the second sheet is what you should be interested in, which is the practice sheet. So the idea is we're going to work through it step by step, four steps. We're going to combine together VLOOKUP and MATCH in a really neat way and pull some data out of a big database. Our database we've got down at the bottom here. I've just generated some random data, uh, people, their favorite colors, favorite band, and favorite films. Okay, so how can we work with this database using VLOOKUP and MATCH to retrieve data in a really cool way? Normal VLOOKUP allows us to retrieve data according to uh, one piece of data, you might say. So for example, here, I can select the person and uh, the favorite color comes up. So I can go back to person two, let's say, and yellow comes up. Then if we look in our database, um, we can see that person two has a favorite color of yellow. So that's all great. But what we want to do is add another dimension, if you like. So if we look down at the bottom here, um, we want to get to a situation where we can change the person. So person one, person two, person three, but then we can also change the piece of data that we're looking for. So here it's set to favorite color, but what if we wanted to set that to favorite band or to favorite film? This is where match comes in. It allows us to choose the piece of data we're looking for and to pull that out of the table. So how does all that work? Let's work through the steps one by one. So first, a simple VLOOKUP formula. So as always, we start with uh, VLOOKUP, open the brackets, and then um, the cell that contains the data that we're gonna put into the table, which is just there. And then we select the table array, which is down here. I'm going to hold down Control and Shift and use the cur cursors to do that quickly. Just go back to the top. And then favorite color. So we can see favorite color is in the, in the second column. So we put a two there. And then we're going to set the last condition to false. That's because we know that uh, the people's names appear in the table. So it's gonna look for an exact match. And then we complete the formula. As always, just do some checking. So let's try person three and favorite color is pink. Okay, so that's working really well. So you're probably fairly familiar with VLOOKUP, so make sure um, you're comfortable with that step and practice it yourself. So where does MATCH come in? Well, as I said, MATCH is gonna allow us to, to choose a particular uh, column, a particular piece of data, and to return that. And the first thing we have to do is understand how MATCH works. It's called MATCH because it takes a piece of data and a range, so a column or a row, and then it matches that piece of data in that row or column. It tells us how far along or how far down that row or column our piece of data is. So it's kind of matching the data in the data set, which is why it's called match. It's fairly straightforward as usual, equals match and open brackets, and we get our prompts, which helps us. The lookup value will be the cell um, just next to our formula, comma, lookup array, so an array is a range, so this will be the column or the row that contains the piece of data we want to look in. So we want to go to our database and select this row here that contains our piece of data. And then another comma, and we're looking again for an exact match. That's because we know the piece of data we're looking at, favorite band, definitely appears uh, in our 
range of data there. So we can set that to zero for exact match, close the bracket, hit enter, and let's see what we've got. Okay, it's given us a number two. That's because we're looking for favorite band. And if we go down to the bottom here, we can see that favorite band is the second uh, piece of data in the range that we're looking at. Therefore, it's given us a number two. If we set this to favorite film, for example, it's returned a three. That's because favorite film is one, two, three uh, spaces, if you like, across the range of data we're looking at. So that seems to be working okay. Effectively, it's converted a piece of data into a value and VLOOKUP is, VLOOKUP is going to look at that value a little bit later on. You may have noticed we're using, um, we're using drop-down menus here. And if you want to ha know how to create those drop-down menus, take a look at our drop-down menus uh, video. Okay, so let's recap. We've done the VLOOKUP formula and we've created a match formula, which tells us how far along our database the piece of data we want is. So it seems to be going well. Now let's look at combining VLOOKUP and match together. Down here, I've repeated the match formula that we've created above. We're going to combine that into the VLOOKUP formula where VLOOKUP asks for the column number rather than putting a static column number in there, one, two, three, which is what we usually do. We're going to refer back to that match formula. So that column number is going to become dynamic and it's going to allow us to choose which column we want VLOOKUP to look at. If it doesn't make sense, don't worry, work through it and it will begin to make sense as we go along. So we're going to create another VLOOKUP formula here. VLOOKUP open brackets, lookup value is going to be the person again. And then the table array is here. I'm going to use control shift and down cursor to do that quickly. Back to the top. Now here is the part that is different. Here's the magic part. If you like the column index number, we're not going to put a number in there. We're going to make that point to our match formula, make that point to the cell that contains our match formula. In this case, cell E18, another comma, and then as usual, we're going to set the last condition to false. So that's our VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP formula incorporating our match formula. So let's see how that works. Okay. Right, so let's see what's happened there. It's given us person four, so it's returning data from the first column in our table. That's because the match is set to favorite color, and favorite color is the first piece of data in the range that the match formula is looking at. We can see the match formula is looking at these three columns, and favorite color is the first piece of data there. So it's not quite there yet, but usually we have to do a little bit of a tinkering with the formula, so it's absolutely fine. What we have to do here is go back to our, our VLOOKUP formula, and we're just gonna plus one onto this column reference. This is gonna shift the reference over one column, which should give us what we need. So let's try that. Okay, good, this looks much better. So it's person four and asking for favorite color. So we can go down and have a look. Person four, favorite color is yellow. So it seems to be working. As always, we'll give it a quick test. So let's change person back to person one. And instead of favorite color, let's look for favorite band. So we can see that should be queen. Okay, and that's return queen. And let's try one more. Let's try favorite film for person one and the godfather. Okay, so just by referring to the database, we can do a quick test there, and it seems to be working well. So there we've combined together VLOOKUP and MATCH to create a kind of two-dimensional uh, data retrieval, if you like. We're looking at the person, and we're looking at a particular piece of data. So really neat, really nice. One more step. So far, we've created two separate formulae, which is fine, and often that's the best way to do it in Excel because it makes less strain on Excel's memory. Let's try to combine it all into one cell. So we just have a single cell with all the information we need. So again, we're going to start, we're going to start with VLOOKUP. Double click there, open the bracket. A lookup value just here, the person, a comma, uh, the table array as usual is there, another comma, back to the top. 
and then it's asking for our column index number. Now you remember last time we had a cell that contained the match formula, so we were able to reference that cell. In this case, we're going to try to incorporate the match formula into this VLOOKUP formula that we're building. So let's give that a go. We're going to create the match formula here. So it's match. Our lookup value, if you remember, is the column header that we want to look at. So we reference that column. The lookup array is the range that contains the data that we want to look at. So that reference, another col comma, and it's going to be an exact match. We know the data is there. So then we can close the brackets. So that's our match formula. And if you remember, we had to plus one onto our match formula because the array we're looking at has three columns, the database has four columns. So we have to shift it along one. So we're going to put plus one at the end. That's our column index number. And then now we're back into the VLOOKUP formula. We've gone up one layer, if you like, in the, uh, in the creation of this big formula that, that, that we're looking at. The last part of VLOOKUP is the false condition as usual. So that's what the formula looks like. Let's, let's see if it works first, then we'll come back and talk about it a little bit more. Okay, that seems to be looking good. Person 1, favorite color is red. So again, let's test it. Person 3, let's try a favorite band. So person 3, favorite band should be Guns N' Roses. Should be the Google, Goo Goo Dolls, I should have said. That's why you should always check. I can see person 3, and favorite band is the Goo Goo Dolls. Uh, so that formula seems to be working well. Let's just look at it again in the formula editor. We can see we have one formula embedded in another. We have a match formula embedded within a VLOOKUP formula. The match formula is telling Excel which column to look at, and the VLOOKUP formula is telling Excel which person to look at. So effectively, we've got this idea of a kind of two-way uh, data retrieval, which we've, retrie which we've achieved by combining two formulae together, VLOOKUP and MATCH. Okay, I hope you're able to follow most of that. It's really important to practice, so make sure you download the practice file, practice for yourself. And I think Excel really begins to get exciting when you learn to combine some of these formulae together. So good luck, let us know how you get on.